This is Shia from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel. Hello my cyber babes. I love lovely that you're back again. And I hope you enjoy this reading for the 17th to the 23rd of February. We're going into Pisces next. Wow, doesn't that go fast the time? And welcome to the new viewers. If you would like to become a cyber angel, then join me in the live sessions. I usually go live every single day. And please like and subscribe uh, the channel. And um, I hope to meet you in the live session. Uh, also, make sure that um, you are signing up to your favorite channels. Um, as the old system is deleting uh, members from channels. Uh, a lot of, or nearly uh, three or four uh, readers that I know are warning their viewers to subscribe or they will be deleted by the old system, which probably can't be carried, on, carried through to the new system. So make sure, otherwise you might lose your favorite channel or reader. This is your reading, uh, Capricorn, for the 17th to the 23rd. And this month I'm also adding a birthstone. Your birthstone is garnet. Your birthstone is garnet. So I hope you um, know that. And if you don't, if you think it is an other stone, then please let me know in the reactions. And I will do the research. Great. And there's also the website, so if you would like an extensive reading, then please contact me. You can find it out below uh, this video in the description box, um, where uh, the information ha on how to get into contact with me. I've got different uh, readings on offer, so contact me. Or you can have a simple reading of three cards and an oracle card in the super chat, in the chat, live chat. There's super chat and stickers possible. Okay, let's begin. This is uh, the Monday, the 17th. You've got the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is a lady that is strong, independent. Uh, she knows what she wants and she is going for what she wants. She, If she can't get it, she will find a way to get it because she's also creative. And these cards are the um, Enchanted Dream Tarot. Okay, by Yasmin Ristwood. And you can find the, this all the cards you can view in the playlists. Um, I've made a special review on this card. And these cards re represent our feminine side, whether we are male or female. So this lady, perhaps this could be you, that you know what you want and you're going to go for it. And you're determined to get it. So that could be on Monday the 17th. Also, if that is not the case, then... Um, you could be make, meeting a lady of the fire sign. That is Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo uh, Capricorn. Okay. So, I hope it is you that you've got fire within you and you're taking action for what you want. Perhaps you might want to um, get pregnant. Um, you've got the card 40. So that means um, stability. Okay. Stability. Four means stability and, uh, and productivity. So you can see the red energy that is grounding. So perhaps you want to be grounded. And it's quite a colorful card. And the orange is like the color fire. So in red. So you're coming into action. I think this is you. There is a birth of something bringing, birthing the new. This could be a new job, as the fire signs also stand for work and or a hobby, a new hobby. If it's not a child that you want, but something new is beginning. Okay. 
on Wednesday, we have the two of ones. And the two of ones means that you're making plans for the future or with how to go about it. Perhaps that is the, could be the difficulty that what you want cannot happen because there's a certain way to go about it. Perhaps there is delays and you don't, this lady doesn't like delays. She wants it now preferably yesterday so and like i said she's creative so perhaps she's trying to find a different way of getting to her goal right you've got many roads you can take the high road or the low road to get to your goal but she'll get there <coughs> so you are making plans and in order to get where you want to go you'll have to make choices or decisions then you've got number 10 and like I said there is a new beginning and this new beginning is stability and uh, you've got a 10 here and it says new dawn yes there is a new beginning breaking and it also says welcome back and number 10 means an ending of something and a uh, new beginning so there are a lot of choices which one do you want perhaps you have choices perhaps it's a choice to go on holiday or move home or to um, um, start a family expanding um, an evolution evolution means growing um, a new generation uh, we have uh, um, come from uh, we have a, a, a evolution, I forgot the word now, we, usually when there is a birth it's evolution, but we've come from uh, a time back. Um, I don't know, it just tweaked something in my head, um, evolution, we've, we've improved, you're improving something, that could be it as well, we've evolved, that's the word, Ev evolved, it comes from evolution. So perhaps something, something you are improving something, perhaps a relationship or something that you work at or a hobby. You have evolved to a next level, improved it. So something is coming to an end and there is a new beginning. On Friday though, um, on Friday uh, Capricorn, you have the Four of Pentacles. Perhaps you were closed off. Um, so you have evolved from being closed off you have opened yourself up so that you could get what you want and this new beginning if you are spending too much money then the four of pentacles um, suggests be careful it's warning you tighten up those purse strings okay this could be a, a wake-up call for you on friday and look at this, you've got the wake up call from uh, Metatron guard, but I'll get back to you to that in a minute. The four of pentacles for me is also that you not only have, clo have you closed yourself off, but you've also closed yourself off uh, or your mind, you've closed your mind off for new visions. Um, perhaps that is why you got stuck and only could make plans or dream and now you've opened up in the middle of the week um, so that you can evolve um, your mind is getting new ideas listen to your new ideas and intuition okay and open your solar plex and your heart so that um, you can uh, be passionate about some uh, about what you're doing or what you're planning, like the Queen of Wands. The Wands is passion, uh, creativity, logic, and action. Okay, so you're going to be most probably more logical uh, about the whole situation or at hand um, because you know what how to protect yourself by closing yourself off don't be scared go out there go into the big world and make your choices 
um, you know, there is a new beginning, a new dawn is breaking. This is the wake up call that you're getting. Come on, get into action. Nothing is going to happen if you don't take action. So, um, listen and take note. This is a wake up call. Not to close yourself off because otherwise um, you can't feel what is coming to you. You can't use your intuition and you can't laugh because if you close yourself off, and sometimes we do this, we close ourselves off for, for sadness. But realize that if you close yourself off for people or for emotions from others or for sadness, you are also closing up to happiness so that you cannot feel. You might feel numb, okay? So if you want to have a beautiful life and be happy and have laughter and feel the love that is around you and the positive energy, you have to open up. In order to advance in your projects, you need to think. So open up that mind and do some meditation and listen to your thoughts. Listen to the ideas that come in and note them down. Okay, Metatron is here. Metatron is the angel for clearing chakras and he's definitely doing that for you. He's giving you the, the card wake up call. So he's warning you, and these two are both warning cards, okay? Be careful with spending money. Um, don't be don't be tight. Don't hold on to things or people too tightly because it, it will stifle them, and they will leave you alone. So go with the flow. I know it's easy easy said and hard done, but practice it practice and then it will become second nature to you. At the weekend you have the Queen of Cups. So at the weekend you might meet a lady that's a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces. She's loving, she's passionate, like the Queen of Cups. She's also passionate, she's sensual and she's sexy and she is nurturing. She's a great mother. She is more, um, a much greater mother because she stands for emotions, spirituality and empathy. So she, she is open. She has her heart open and her solar plex open. They are very sensitive people. Now, if you compare to the queen of um, ones, she's got a heart uh, of her own too. And she protects what she you know, what she loves and what is dear to her, but she's um, a woman of action. She's more career orientated, okay, an adventure. And she she's happy with a stable home life. Generally, I'm talking in general. If this doesn't resonate with you or your um, the, what, the way you think about uh, the water signs, then let me know in the... Um, <coughs> reaction below the video but she's a nurturing person you know we could uh, it, we are not just one sign we are made up from the sun sign moon sign rising sign planets um uh etc etc and like venus that is feminine and mars is the masculine side and it takes too long to explain and I can sit here until the cows come home and give you my visions and what I know on uh, astrology but I'm not an astrologer if you need an astrologer then um, I will put the link in uh, uh, Audrey she's called Audrey she is also a reader but she does astrology She's awesome. So you might be meeting a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces, Capricorn at the weekend. Although you might be nurturing yourself a little bit more, loving yourself, beautifying yourself, taking care. So you've got this wake up call and you're in, you've opened your heart and your solar plex. And you can see who you can face yourself in the mirror 
and see that you might need to spruce yourself up exterior also on the exterior like going to the hairdresser buy new makeup or make yourself feel more feminine and cared for it is important that you love yourself and you care for yourself otherwise you can't take care of anybody else or love anybody else because if you do take care of yourself you'll start showing it by shining it out your mood and your mindset will change okay and you'll be getting it back threefold now i was talking about orange and i didn't realize the card orange was here but connection and attunement yes that is also connection and attunement with yourself that is definitely nurturing yourself and here take action coming back to the queen of wands and doing exercises keep fit go and walk and you've got 24 and so you are coming back into balance at the weekend because you are taking action you're nurturing and loving yourself remember if you don't love yourself nobody else will that just came up it i don't know where these words come from sometimes i'm even amazed at what comes out so if you don't love yourself nobody else will because you have to be the beacon okay five of pentacles you are feeling left out so don't feel left out the uh, angels and the universe have your back okay it's only a period join a club join an institution go out there and mingle and meet with people meet with people that is what the five of pentacles means for me you don't have to be beholden to any other groups you can join new groups if not make your own group and the bottom of the deck uh, rather this is the angel feather and you've got the queen angel feather and something has come full circle something has come full circle and you've got the sorry the golden angel uh, uh, card and you've got the angels acknowledge and applaud the wonderful effort you have put in you are transforming uh, from an ordinary human into a spiritual be being wow and that is really the message and you'll be the beacon now the angel that is connected with the golden feather is archangel jovial and sandal from an angel dineal and angel renly so archangel jovial is the angel of enlightenment and joy and sandalfon is the angel of power get back into your own power awesome if you would like to wear a crystal to remind you of the golden angel fen fe uh, feather then use amber gold golden beryl calcite uh, calcite topaz golden stone sulfur uh, cit uh, citrine good tiger's eye golden tiger's eye ritulated quartz those are just a couple of the stones that you can uh, use and remember i was talking about the um, emotional chakra you've got yellow coming out everywhere so open that uh, solar plex the emotional chakra so wear gold wear tiger's eye uh, citron beautiful stone that looks like a diamond and i hope you have enjoyed this reading and i hope it has helped you um, to know what energy is around you in the coming week I love you all very much and have a look at the website charliesangeltarot.com and you can find the information um, 
uh, you, uh, your right hand side in the top corner and if you click on that little eye it will take you straight through to the website and I hope to see you and meet you in the live sessions and I love you I give you my blessing and uh, my I I'm heal I do Reiki every day and I'll do a healing session also live so if you wish to receive set the intent and it will the angels will send the healing on to you so take care my darlings i love you all and love cyber mum have a brilliant week ciao ciao don't forget to share with family and friends and give um the thumbs up ciao ciao